Good afternoon. I'm Oxides Barbeau, Health Commissioner for Baltimore City, and it's my pleasure to welcome you to National Black HIV AIDS Awareness Day. It is my pleasure to get things started by introducing Mayor Stephanie Rawlings-Blake. As many of you know, Mayor Stephanie Rawlings-Blake is one of our biggest supporters with regards to making Baltimore a healthy city and making it healthier every day. And one of the main issues that she's most concerned about is HIV and getting those numbers down. And so it is my pleasure to introduce Mayor Stephanie Rawlings-Blake. Thank you so much, Dr. Barbeau. We're try Councilman Mosby and I were trying to figure out whose idea it was to, I guess we, with the truck we had to have it outside, but you all have the good seats in the sun. So I'm, I'm very pleased to be here with Councilman Nick Mosby, who has embarked upon a, a quest to uh, increase the, the health outcomes for his district, and I'm proud that um, we continue to work in partnership. I want to thank again Dr. Barbeau for all of her hard work, and I want to thank Total Health Care and their staff for their partnership providing services for those living with HIV and AIDS in Baltimore City. Uh, Mr. Sethna from Total Health Care, the HIV program director, and the manager of our Ryan White grants. Thank you very much for being here. Hopefully I got your name correct. And Ms. Shannon uh, Massey is one of the patients. Thank you for being here. Uh, you're smart to have your hat on today. I wasn't, I wasn't thinking this whole thing through today. So as Dr. Barbo said, today is a very important day. In 1999, we saw an uptick in HIV AIDS cases among African American men and women. And National Black HIV and AIDS Awareness Day was created to encourage people to get educated, to get tested, to get involved, and most importantly, I think, to get treated. African Americans face the most severe burden of HIV and AIDS of any ethnic group in our nation. But thanks to the leadership of Baltimore City Health Department and partners like Total Health Care, prevention efforts have helped to maintain stability and overall, the overall level of HIV infections among African Americans for more than a decade. Nonetheless, the epidemic continues to affect far too many people in Baltimore City. Statistics tell us that approximately one in every 16 black men and one in every 32 black women will be diagnosed with HIV during their lifetime. And black young people represent more than half, 57% of the new HIV infec infections among young people ages 13 to 24. We have to do better. We also know that young, black, gay, and bisexual men now account for, for more new infections than any other group in the United States. The stigma associated with HIV and AIDS, the fear and silence increase, risk, increase the risk of HIV and decrease the willingness of people to get support, to get tested, and to get treatment if needed. In Baltimore, we have resources, so no need for anyone to suffer in silence. Without treatment, HIV leads to AIDS and can lead to early death. But that does not have to be our story. That will not be the story of Baltimore. So I am begging all of our partners in the community to get edu educated, to get tested, to get involved, and to get treated. And also, to get compassionate about the way we treat our neighbors, we sometimes, in the way that we deal with our neighbors and friends and families, force them into the life of living in the shadows and not being willing to come forward and be honest with themselves and their families and prevent them from doing what they need to do for their health and ultimately the health of our uh, other sisters and brothers who are impacted. So I'd ask on this National, National HIV and AIDS Day that we think about ways that we can pull our brothers and sisters out of the shadows, encourage them to lead an authentic life, and to get the treatment and seek the treatment that they know that they need. So with that, I would want to introduce my partner as we strive to make uh, Baltimore 
fit and healthy, and that is Councilman Nick Mosby. Thank you, Madam Mayor. This is a critically uh, important topic. The one thing that we can say about HIV and AIDS is it is an epidemic. And it's no time for us to act as if it's not a problem. There's no time for us not to act as if we do not know the statistics. But on this day, every single year, we're able to come together and reevaluate where we are with this epidemic. The one thing that's, that, that jumps right out at me is when you look at my district, specifically this zip code of 21217, 13% of all of the HIV and AIDS reported cases in the city of Baltimore is right here where we're standing. So I'd just like to thank the leadership of the mayor, Dr. Barbeau, Total Health Care, the folks who understand and know that this is an epidemic and understand and know that it's critically important that we continue to put out the awareness arm of this because this is preventable. HIV and AIDS doesn't have a, a color, a skin tone, an age, a socioeconomic status, a zip code. HIV and AIDS is something that plagues and impacts any and every demographic out there. But unfortunately, we see that disproportionate among demographics in poor African American communities. And we must do a better job as it relates to ensuring that we put the awareness out there, to ensuring that folks understand the importance of being tested, to ensuring that, like our wonderful mayor said, it's critically important that we don't allow folks to just shy away from their current situation. We have to be proud of who we are, but we have to know our status. And that's why we come together every single day to support this event. So I would like to thank, once again, our mayor, Dr. Barbeau, Total Health Care, and all the partners for ensuring that we continue to put this to the forefront of our minds. I would like to uh, turn it over to our wonderful health commissioner, Dr. Barbeau. Thank you, Councilman. I want to thank you and the mayor for your ongoing leadership in this area. I think it's really important for us to have leadership um, such as the two of you in helping to keep this message out there because it's days like this and, and events like this that remind us of what we should really be thinking about every day, right? It's not just once a year that we think about getting tested, but really every day we should be thinking about am I up to date on my HIV test? Have I spoken to my relative, to my neighbor, to my community person? about getting tested and to days like today are just reminders of that and so i also want to thank total health care for uh partnering partnering with us during these events um, and hosting this afternoon um, the event that's going on indoors and total health care is really one of our strongest partners uh, in ensuring that we maximize the number of individuals in baltimore city that know their HIV status. And uh, I'm proud of the work that you're doing. I hope that you are as well. Um, we need more providers like you in Baltimore City. So as the mayor mentioned, and I think it's worth uh, emphasizing, the purpose of National Black HIV AIDS Awareness Day is to get educated, get tested, get involved, get treated. And I think for me, a reminder to get on it, right? There's no time like the present to get your HIV test. It's simple, you can get it free, so get on it. Um, and really make no mistake about it, we need everyone to be tested because even though the numbers in Baltimore City have been improving, we are still one of the leaders in the country with regards to new HIV diagnoses. And between the years of 2009, 2011, we did make strides in reducing the percentage of new HIV infections. And they went down by roughly 25%, which is great news. However, in the African American community, that percentage went up by 1.5%. It reminds us that we have to redouble our efforts in ensuring that everyone gets tested. And as the mayor so eloquently stated, really talk about reducing the stigma. And so part of what I always try to do is remind people that it's okay to talk about sex. It's okay to talk about all the ways in which we can transmit AIDS and HIV because once we start normalizing the conversation, 
It's not such a big deal to get tested. And really, that's the first step because once someone knows their status, we can help them get linked into care. We can help them get the medications that will help them lead healthy, productive lives. But we have to take that first step in getting tested. And so one of the other statistics that I also want to emphasize is that black youth represents more than half of the new HIV infections among young people aged 13 to 24. So it's not only important to talk about sex amongst our peers and amongst our adults, but really to engage in those conversations with our young people because unless we educate them, we're gonna be in this cycle for a very long time and we need to break that cycle. And so today we are having a number of events throughout the city this morning. I was with our partners over at STAR. They're having a testing uh, marathon. Today we are here with Total Healthcare doing the, these events. Tonight um, the health department will be doing additional testing at the Paradox nightclub from 11 to 3 which sort of puts a new spin on the term, we're going clubbing. You know, when people think about I'm going clubbing, they think about something different. When we think about going clubbing, it's because we're going there to make it as easy as possible for people to get tested. And so I want to thank you all for joining us today. And it is my pleasure to introduce our next speaker, uh, Mr. Hormaz Sefna from um, Total Healthcare. Thank you very much. Um, on behalf of Ferial Larkins, the CEO of Total Healthcare, and our board chairman, Kevin Tyler, I'd like to welcome and thank Mayor Stephanie Ro uh, Rawlings Blake, Councilman Mosby, um, Health Commissioner Dr. Barbo, Shannon Massey, and all of you um, for recognizing and supporting uh, the National Black HIV AIDS Awareness Day. Um, for more than 40 years, Total Healthcare has been a beacon of hope um, for some of Baltimore's most distressed neighborhoods, offering comprehensive healthcare services for the uninsured and the underinsured. Um, <clears throat> February 7th today has been designated National Black HIV AIDS Awareness Day as an initiative encouraging education, testing, treatment, and involvement around HIV. For over a decade, Total Healthcare has supported this national movement by empowering our community and creating awareness around HIV and AIDS. However, this crisis requires more than just a one-day, once-a-year event. Um, Baltimore, as you've heard, has one of the highest HIV infection rates in the country, and this means that we all need to get involved, consistently spreading the message of prevention, detection, treatment, and care. HIV is no longer a death sentence. Um, with the latest treatment, our doctors, nurses, outreach staff, managers, help people live longer, healthier, more productive lives. Total Healthcare is committed to helping our neighbors to become informed about HIV by providing education around HIV and other conditions that disproportionately affect our community. We continue to provide quality health care and support services for those living with HIV. More than 600 HIV patients receive their health care through our programs, which offer a wide range of services from HIV medical care, specialized nursing and case management, to free and anonymous confidential testing and counseling services, as well as community outreach, case assessment, um, substance abuse and mental health services, patient advocacy, dental care, OBGYN, nutritional counseling, and even emergency financial assistance um, for housing, transport, and pharmacy. So this is a call to action. We have to challenge each of us to continue this fight against HIV and to encourage our families, friends, and colleagues to get educated, to get tested, to get treatment if needed, and to get involved. Our next speaker, Shannon Massey, is someone who has come through the doors of Total Healthcare and has accepted the challenge 
of the fight to continue the fight against HIV. So please join me in welcoming Shannon Massey. Thank you. Good afternoon. My name is Shannon Massey, and I am an HIV survivor of over 30 years. I'm also a recovering addict of over 10 years, thanks to Hope to total health care. I was diagnosed over 30 years ago and I took that information to my primary health care provider at Total Health Care and shared it with her. Then I was educated through Total Health Care of the necessary procedures that I would need to go through to be safe and the testing and the people that I would need to get involved with so I could live better. I was also referred to any and every program that was necessary to teach me how to live with HIV. My partner of 27 years informed me that I may have been infected. Through that, I carried that information to the health center. Today, I'm living happy. My parents are involved, my family, even my dog. We are all safe today because I'm doing the right thing. I'm happy to have been asked to share this information with everybody, and I hope that my friends from the past are watching this today and are joining me. Okay, there's no need to be ashamed. You should be happy that there's testing, and they also offer you other health care because I utilize each and everything that they have to offer. I am standing here now, today, with three weeks of recovery from open heart surgery. I have severe hypertension. I have other diseases, but I take care of them. I utilize everybody. I love everybody at Total Health Care. I become familiar with each and every one, and it helps me. I have no problem asking for whatever help. Also, I want to thank the Ryan White program for helping me. I'm not going to take up too much time, but I thank everyone for helping me today. Thank you. With that, I want to thank all of our participants, including the speakers. Ms. Massey did a fantastic job. Thank you for sharing your story and your testimony. And, and I want to thank all of you for coming out here today. I'll close and open up for questions. So the decrease in the percentage of new cases that took place between 2009 and 2011 are really a combination of factors. Um, we through the health department have been partnering with healthcare providers throughout the city in terms of increasing the amount of testing that is done. Additionally, we are working with community partners um, that serve communities that are most affected to ensure that we increase the education and the self-care that goes on in those communities. So for example, the partnerships that we have uh, with members of the ball community in Baltimore City, in addition to service providers like STAR that target women. Um, and so it's really utilizing the data that we have that helps us understand where transmission is taking place and focusing our efforts on place-based work so that we get the greatest return for our efforts. Any other questions? 
All right. Thank you very much.